What's up, YouTube? One more shot of the motor in its final state. Well, as of right now, I still have to put in the uh, power steering pump, um, but that's once I get a new rack. So, uh, car's pretty much complete. Uh, well, a few minor things left to do. Uh, wiring in the rear windows. Uh, that shouldn't take that long at all, but I'm not concerned with that right now. Obviously, it's drivable. The front and uh, windows and door locks all work, so that's my major concern. And I have keyless entry now, so um, that's still left to be done. The back windows. Um, the power steering rack, I'm actually getting an 04 STI power steering rack, which is a little bit more responsive. Um, I'm, I'm getting that hopefully in the next week or two. And then I can install the power steering pump and finally have power steering because it's, it's really rough without power steering. Um, and what else? Um, the lock cylinder on the trunk, I need to replace that just because I've never had a key for that. So I ordered a new lock cylinder for that. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, just got the car um, tuned. So I did it through Drunk Man Tuning. If you've heard of them before, they do... Um, electronic tunes or e-tunes tunes you can go back and forth on email send them logs and then they uh send you what you know the roms that you need to flash to and you go through about like five um so yeah more than satisfied this thing um, definitely faster than the NAT conversion that I did and more reliable, obviously. So it's running 19 PSI right now. Um, again, very satisfied with it, uh, for now. And I say, I've said this a bunch, um, just, uh, keeping it where it's at. I won't, I'm for right now, I've done a lot of work over the past, like a couple months. So I'm kind of just laying low. Um, my wife and daughter were gone for about a month. On, on a little vacation so they gave me a lot of time to do some work and now that they're back and I'm done with it I, I don't really have much to do so um show you the interior real quick so the only thing left to do is the rear door so I have this this little uh trim piece not on but um looking pretty good these door panels were actually they they almost matched the seats perfectly these door panels were from a UK WRX, which is, um, or not WRX, but no, actually, yes, a WRX, uh, like a 99, I think they're very rare. So but they match the interior perfectly. Also it got speakers. Um, well, I mean, I hooked up the speakers. I didn't buy speakers cause that's not really my thing, but I also got a dash unit here. This was off of Amazon for like, uh, <laughs> I want to say 80 bucks. So I didn't really need, uh, I didn't really need something too crazy to get that going, but that's a quick update on it just to let you know where it's at right now. Um, oh, I also got this monstrosity. So this is an HKS high power exhaust. Um, man, does it sound beautiful. I don't like the size of the can coming out the back. But man, does it sound beautiful. I'll turn it on real quick so you can see. But this is from inside the car. Not too loud. Just beautiful sounding. Not raspy or anything like that. Just... And when you, it, it doesn't get much louder than this. I mean, obviously when you get on it, it's going to get a little bit louder, but it just sounds perfect in my opinion. Um, I've never had, I've had a bunch of different Subaru exhaust, never had this one and it just sounds great. So I got those three things left to do. And then to get rid of this beast, it's up on blocks now, but someone should be coming to pick that up this week, hopefully. And then all the parts are gone. So kind of thrown into that, <laughs> but yeah. That's the update right now. I'll try to update with a, a when I have those last three things complete or more importantly, I don't really need to provide an update for that. Cause if you, you know, you, you're looking at schematics, you should be able to do that yourself. Um, the, uh, 
like a quick video of it doing, you know, maybe 30 to 70 or 30 to 80 like I did with the other car. So you can kind of compare NAT to, uh, to, to a WRX motor. Then we can kind of go from there. All right. Thanks, YouTube.